Hi, Heather. How are you going? Hi, Sarah. I have got this gorgeous scratch in between my eyes. I have this habit of scratching in my sleep. I've got no idea. So please excuse that. And the cough. So if you caught the replay from yesterday, and it's still up for a little while yesterday. Hey, girl. Um, yesterday I chatted about some psychology behind... Um, FOMO, the fear of missing out, and um, why we get so addicted to social media and what happens in your brain and all of that kind of stuff. So today I wanted to talk about the next stage in that, and that's digital overwhelm or information overload, um, you know, all of those kinds of things. And we all feel it um, if we are, you know, getting through this stage of you know, I need to consume, I need to know, I need to be kept up to date, I, you know, I just have to. And we see it in so many different places. People see it in their email inbox, you know, I have to subscribe to this. Um, seen it on Facebook, you know, you follow so many different pages um, that your Facebook newsfeed ends up full of advertising and no space for the friends that you actually want to connect with. Um, I went through this on Periscope. Um, I've been on Periscope now for two and a half months. And, um, you know, I went through this probably about two weeks into Periscope where I was just, I felt absolutely, utterly overwhelmed by the notifications that were coming through on my phone that people were scoping. I was being invited in, um, you know, all of those kinds of things. And it's true, it happens because we are caught up in this cycle of trying to feed the, the dopamine addiction where we want that information, we want the reward, we want to know, we want to consume, we want to connect, um, all of these kinds of things. Um, so I'm doing these, these scopes kind of as a public service announcement, I suppose, of sorts, um, but what can we do about it? I've got some suggestions of what I use um, and what I've done. And look, if there, there's something you've tried, if there's something else you haven't tried, pop it in the comments um, and let me know. Share it to Twitter um, and tweet me to, to let me know what of the other hints. Um, so I'll go through some of the stuff that I've done for my feeling of overwhelm. Um, and the first thing is email, and I use a thing called Unroll Me for my Gmail account. All of my subscriptions go to my Gmail account, um, and so I use Unroll Me for my Gmail, and it's only available for webmail, um, so Hotmail. Yep, thanks, Sarah, unroll.me. And it's fabulous. What it means is that all of my emails are condensed down into one daily digest, and when a new subscription comes in, it lets me know, you know, I've got 10 new subscriptions and I can actually get rid of them. And it's fabulous. It removes, it's removed a lot of that um, feeling of overwhelm, excuse me, that I've had for, um, for email. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Facebook. I use two things for Facebook. Um, the first thing is lists. So my friends are um, divided up into two lists. I have my actual friends, people that I would quite happily sit down and share a drink with, people that I've met one to one, and they're in a they're in my my proper friends lists. They're not marked as anything else, and they see everything that I post on Facebook. Then I have business, a business list and an acquaintance list um, and people are marked into that. And the benefit of that is that if someone's on that list, I don't see their stuff. And it's fabulous for those people that constantly post on Facebook. Um, and I'm not talking about the baby photos. You know, I, I quite happily look at baby photos all day. Um, but you kind of know the ones that I mean. 
And having them on an acquaintances list means that I don't see them. I have my settings such that they don't appear in my news feed. So that is fabulous. Um, lists for businesses. So I will add businesses to particular lists and go through them. Yeah, it, Sarah, it's just what I've had to do to to kill some of this feeling of of this weight of information that that's um, come down on me over time, and it's been fabulous. And I actually had to do it at when did I do it? The start of this year. Um, when the profile of right to right started to climb, um, I did it for privacy reasons. Um, I didn't want everyone seeing photos of my children. Um, so, yeah, it's that was the main driving thing is was to protect my family. Um, what's another thing that I do? So lists for businesses um, and saving links. If I like something, if something comes up in my Facebook news feed and I go, yep, 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 I want, I want to read it, but I can't read it now, I'll save it. I'll click on the little down arrow and save it and I'll go back and I'll have a look at it later. It's great for content curation. Absolutely fabulous for content curation. Um, Periscope. So what I did with Periscope is... I blocked people on Periscope, people who were um, sending out too many um, shares and inviting me to watch scopes, I blocked them because what that does is that actually prevents those notifications appearing in my feed for um, in the push notifications that I receive on my phone and that was an absolute godsend. Now, what's happened since then is those people have gone back because their behaviour has changed and I've unblocked them and it's quite simple. Um, I've also unfollowed a lot of people on Periscope um, because over time I've, same as on Facebook, you know, you, you follow a whole heap of pages because friends like them, friends invite you to them, all of that kind of stuff. Um... People that are on here say, you know, swipe up, swipe right, you know, follow me, all of that kind of stuff. And it's like, dude, unless you provide me with content that's going to help me either entertain me or educate me, that's it. You, you know, you're, you're wasting my time. I've got other things that I can be doing. Um, so that's one of the things that I've done to avoid the overwhelm on Periscope. Um, the best thing that I've done is to actually mute my phone. Yeah, Sarah, it's, yeah, it's one of the things that I have to be intentional. My time is money and my time is precious and my time with my children will only last a certain amount of time. And so I have to be intentional about this. You know, people say about needing a digital detox. I actually don't like the term. Um... It is about intention and it's about valuing yourself and valuing your time and valuing the people that mean a, a lot to you. Um, so, yeah, it's... And I can't think of where I was going. I have absolutely no notes on this. This is all off the cuff. Um, so the, the thing that I was saying was muting my phone. Now, that helps when I'm going to do periscopes because it's automatically muted. You don't hear the Manamana song it's not going to happen because my phone is constantly muted, notifications are off. But it stops the ding and the Pavlov reaction for me of, oh, oh, who's on? And the, the buzz, I, they kind of all meld together, the buzzes. So I don't, I now no longer pay attention to it. It's just this dull noise, background noise now. Um, and it doesn't mean that I've been desensitised to it. It just means that it's no longer on my radar. Um, and, you know, I will periodically go on and I'll check. Um, and that's the reason why I catch people's replays on Periscope and share it out from there or, you know, tap the screen and give hearts. Um, it's because I'm being intentional with my time. So on that note, I'm going to be intentional with my time because I've got stuff to do. I have a blog post to write. I hope this has helped you um, 
give you some ideas to reduce the digital overwhelm that you might be having in the information overload. If you have any other ideas, please let me know. Please tweet me at right to write Oz, a US. Um, and uh, I would love to know because you know what, any tips that I can have as a psych major, any tips that I can have that will help other people, I am more than happy to pass it on because this is becoming a major part of our lives. All right. Thanks, everyone, for rocking up, and I will catch you later. Bye.